Good morning, welcome to Family Math number 102A. Family Math number 102A. This is a quick follow up on Family Math 102 from this morning. Remember, we were counting the toothpicks in, yeah. in, from, um, from visualpatterns.org? Yeah. And I was thinking about it later in the day and I found something, I should have noticed it at the time, but I, I didn't notice it until later. We found that um, if you watch Family Math 102, we found the number of toothpicks in step n is 2 times n times n plus 1, right? Yeah. We've seen this formula, a formula involving n times n plus 1 before. Do you remember what it is? Mm, it's, it's to find the number of toothpicks in one of our little squares. Well, that's true. That's where we saw it this morning. Yeah. What we've seen is something involving n times n plus 1 someplace else other than the toothpicks. Do you remember? Does that seem familiar to you? Well, polygon shapes. Well, let's see. I think. And then gone. What is 1 equal? You what? tell me. Well, one equals what I have the number. Say. The number one. Yeah, one equals one. Yeah, one equals one. What does one plus two equal? Well, one plus two equals three. Three. Yeah. One plus two plus three. Let's let your brother do this one. Okay. Is. It's gonna be six. Six. One plus two plus three plus four is. Ten. Answer all the questions. Let your brother do some. <laughs> okay. One plus two. Do you remember what the formula for the sum of all the integers up to n is? Well. What do you do? Oh, it, it's n plus n plus one. Well, actually, it's n times n plus one over two. It's n times n plus one over two. Over two, and so you can see that for one, one times two over two is one. Up to 2, it's 2 times 2 times 3 divided by 2, that's 3. Yeah. 3 times 4 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. 4 times 5 is? It, 4 times 5 is 20. Divided by 2 is? It's 10. Okay. So this n times n plus 1 over 2 reminds us of adding up the integers. Yeah. At least it reminded me of that hmm. later. Hmm. But that means we've got 4 of these, right? Because yeah. 4 times n, plus, times n plus 1 over 2 is 2 times n plus n times n plus 1, because a half plus a half plus a half plus a half would be 2. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that means in the toothpicks, we should be able to find four sums of integers of whatever step we're on. So at step 1, we should be able to find four 1s. At step 2, we should be able to four, find four 1 plus 2s. At step 3, we should be able to find four 1 plus 2 plus 3s. Yeah. Step 4, we should be able to find four 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4s. Hmm. Okay, should we look for them? Yeah, maybe. Eh, I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can find four ones in this picture. Well, four ones. Yeah. There's one, two, yes. three, four. Okay, so it looks not too hard to find four ones yeah, here. Yeah. Now let's extend this. Four, one, plus two. This is going to be a little harder. Four. One, four things together that are a one and a two. Four, so we're looking for four one plus twos. Okay? So, so can you chop this picture up into four things that look exactly the same and they're all ooh, one plus twos? Ooh. Oh, I see some. Yeah. Okay, you both seem to have an idea. So let's well, see. You go, you go first. So here's a two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one. Okay, what do you see for twos and ones together? Well, I see that, 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 and that. Okay, so this is this is interesting. So you saw the first one was this and this. That was one plus two. Mm -hmm. And then... Bad pur purple. Bad purple. Bad purple. Bad purple. Let's go back to green. One plus two. Yeah. Uh, brown, maybe? Mm -hmm. One plus two, and uh, light blue maybe? Yeah. Hopefully this works. One plus two. So you see this? Yeah. Does that look like good one plus twos, or do you want to look at your one plus twos as well? I think we, we should use those. Use these? Okay, that's, that's fine. Now let's move on. So we found the four one plus twos. Now let's move on to our three by three. It's a little hard to erase. One plus two is plus three. Okay, so let's do our three by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, three. One, two, three. And then I, I gotta do my dashes down here and then across. 
Okay, now we're looking for 1 plus 2's plus 3's. Hmm. And so, can we find 1 plus 2 plus 3? Four times. Four times. What's 1 plus 2? Well, it's... I'll give you a hint. The 3's are probably the easiest ones to see. Well, the 3's can be the edges. Okay, so the 3's can be the edges. Oh, I see something. Wait, let your brother take a look. There's, there's a three that I've drawn in blue, and I'll draw the, a three up here in brown. Okay. Well, um, Do you see any twos that kind of pair with those a little bit? You could use those twos. Okay, this could be a two. There's two, and then where would the ones be down here that are also the twos that pair with that? Well, that could be a one. Well, where are the twos first? Where's the twos? In? That. There, and there, and then where? show me where the one is. I think it's there. Okay, here. And, and up there. Up here. And then do we have a one, two, three on the sides too? One, yeah. two, three? Yeah, we do. Look at that. Cool. How cool is that? Now, for the four by four one, I've actually set it up on the table in the other room. Okay, just yeah. because it's harder to draw and see. Should we go take a peek at it? Yeah, let's go. Okay, awesome. Okay, so here we have our 4x4 four four square with the straws from this morning. You see yeah. that? Yeah. And then I use some of your Nerf darts to, to s highlight the 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Hmm. And then you see it with the, with the um, dry, dry erase markers. Mm -hmm. 1 plus 2. two. Hey, wait, did, did we lose some markers? Yeah. Yeah, do we have any around? <coughs> There's 1. 1 plus 2 plus... <laughs> we need some more. Three plus four. Four. All right. So the markers got, must have gotten taken for something else. Okay. One plus two plus three plus four. Now here I made double straws on this side. See the double straws? Yeah. One plus two plus three plus four. And then here with sharpies I went one yeah. plus two plus three plus four. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So this guys is what is a great example of what math is about. There's a really cool pattern, and we yeah. saw it this morning by saying there was four, 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 and then four, 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 four. Yeah. It's actually there's sorry five fours across, five fours down. Yeah. But it turned out that that led to a formula that had an n times n plus one in it. Yeah. And the formula for summing up the integers is n times n plus one, and so we found some one plus twos plus threes plus fours. Yeah. In our pattern, that means on like a ten by ten one, we could find four one plus two plus three plus four is all the way up to plus ten. Oh, isn't that neat? Cool. So yeah. math is about finding patterns and about having fun, right? Yeah. And thinking through these really challenging things. Mm -hmm. And what else is math about? What well, math? Hmm. Like multiplication and stuff. Oh yeah, multiplying and stuff. What do you think? What else do you think Making of? Making up think rules about? and seeing what happens. Making up rules and seeing what happens. Yeah, that's true too. All right, so this is fun. This this is this website, which is called um, VisualPatterns.org, yeah, yeah. is going to be really awesome. I bet. All right, good job, guys.